RV Dream Radio. Radio. Self-contained. This is RV Dream New Radio. We're at Pillar Point RV Park Live. And I'm sorry, tell me your name again, sir. Uh, John Rominger. John Rominger. And you are? Carol Rominger. Carol. And you guys are from, where are you from? We're from over in the Central Valley, north of Woodland, California. Sacramento area. Yes, north Sacramento area, area in the valley. Right. What do you do over there? Well, we're retired. Uh, we lived for 30 years here in the Bay Area, just over the hill in San Mateo, Foster City area. Oh, okay. And now we're retired on a family farm up in the Sacramento Valley. Oh, how is the family farm? Huh? So you've had that farm for a long time? It's been in, in the family for uh, 70 or 80 years. What so. kind of farm is it? It's diversified, mostly almonds, uh, wheat, and alfalfa these days. It's still active? You still? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. So you're working the farm? I'm not working the farm. It's actually operated by my cousins. I see. And what did you do in San Mateo? I was a, an engineer at L3 Communications, a microwave engineer. Microwave engineer? Yes. I'll be darned. And how about you? you... Uh, I was a librarian, and I worked at UC Davis, and then down here also in the, for uh, Litton Industries and L3 Communications. I see. And so, so was that your specialty in school? Yeah. I was, uh, libra- yeah. Library being a librarian? Science. Yes. Library science. Right. Right. Well, That's... they call it librarianship or library I, science. But I it is a science, isn't it? I mean, it's uh, an art. If it's, it's an art. It's an art. It's a, it's a legitimate Occupation, it's a in master's fact. Program. Something it's you have to study. Profession, yeah, master's profession. And so, so now you guys are. This is your. Is this your first RV? It is yes. our first RV. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the key question I always like to ask people is, what made you get an RV? What made you decide to do that? Well, I'll let her answer that. Carol has okay. always wanted to travel. Her her folks did this when they yeah. retired. They were and... air screamers. Oh, I see. And, but when we went, when we moved back to the valley, the conditions of me moving back to the valley was that I not be there during the summer. Right, it's hotter than hell there. Hotter than Hades. I was, we were just in Vacaville. It's the just sun like, comes up every forget single that. day, and it's really boring. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been on the road most of the summer, one place or another. Good for you. But this is not Sacramento. Uh, right. This is no. not the Central we, Valley. Well, here. yeah, I grew up in Santa Maria, so we were actually we were in Pismo before we came here, and then we've been up in the High Sierras and up at Shasta this summer. Good. Where'd you stay down in Pismo? Um, at the um, Pismo, Pismo Coast, Coast Village. Coast yes. Village. Yeah, Beautiful. wonderful place, yeah. isn't it? But Very no views expensive. like this. Great. Great beach, but no views like yeah. this. No, well, I don't know. You, ever, you don't find this very often no. at all here. So, so you got this, and you looked around, and you decided to get a trailer. You had your truck. We had the truck. We wanted to get a trailer that was not too big, something we could pull with a uh, compact truck, a Toyota Tacoma. And so this was one of the models that is uh, the light, lightweight technology. They say the super light technology. Right. It's a. It's a. It's called a Koala Super Light. It's made by Skyline. It's a Koala. It's a Koala line, and it's it's in the weight range that we could handle with this pickup. So we decided to go with it. We liked very much all the features of it, especially this outdoor kitchen. That yeah. Thanks for opening this up, Carol. Good for you for keeping the key. I wouldn't. I wouldn't let him have that. <laughs> Got the cookies I, I had in there, as they say. <laughs> I took off with it all. This is absolutely beautiful. Tell me what's here. Um, it's got a two burner stove. Two burner stove, yeah, right there. Gas okay. stove. Right. So you can cook outside. And your microwave. And a microwave. And a, and a little, a small sink. It's a bathroom style sink. Right. And, and a big fridge. A refrigerator that we haven't yet bothered to turn on since we've been here. And you have a kitchen inside. And we have a full kitchen inside. So we've right. just used this. When we had family, we had it full of extra, like corn and cold drinks and things like when we have extra people. Right. But for the two of us, it's probably more than we usually need anyhow. This is a very unique feature on a trailer. I think it's going to be more and more because we used to camp with his parents and we would have, we would stay next to them on some, some other type of thing like camping. And right. we'd be in and out of the trailer constantly when we cooked. And now you can do it all outside. Right. And, and, so and, and as you and I were talking earlier, that's what this is all about, anyway. Right. You're not right. the idea is to get outside. Isn't exactly. It? exactly. Although I I'm sinful the other way too. I spend <laughs> a lot of time in front of the computer screen. Well, but, this has this is a, a size that I think is good for us. It has enough creature comforts inside that it's comfortable for the two of us. But yeah, we don't plan to to spend all of our time inside. We're right. outdoors people, so we just wanted something that was you know had the basics and was. A little bit stylish and some and something that was easy to to pull, not too big. So right, and and you have uh, kind of an interesting hookup here with external speakers, 
Yeah, and it has well, all the new ones have that, and they also have a place for your TV. You can hang a TV. Right, so you bracket. just you just unhook the TV from inside and bring We've it outside. We've never done it. You know, we usually have either we're reading or we have friends or we have we have right. our books on computer, you know, readers, and we just didn't bother to bring. But the you TV will. Out. The time will come when it'll be Could nice be. that it's there, right? And something when the weather is perfect. But you know, then you share it with your neighbors, and maybe they don't want to watch your TV or hear your music. So we're kind of yeah. careful on that. Well, but you have your own space too. That's interesting. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of people who have outside TVs, oh, yeah. and they they don't bother each other. We've seen a few. Yeah. You get you get you know you get to have your own space too, right, right out here? Yes. Well, normally we have our rugs out, but you know we we've been so busy here seeing friends and doing things. That oh, you have a lot of friends in the area. Oh, we lived here thirty years. Right. Oh, yeah, so, in San the San Mateo right, area. Yeah. Right. So we have dinner engagements every night except tonight, and you know we're, we're not really camping like we usually do we haven't set everything up right so what's the plan now you're going to continue to spend a lot of time with your rv out on the road yeah i think so mainly in the summer months uh, as she said we'd like to get out of the valley in the summertime when it's so hot over there but yeah next year we're going to probably take some longer trips maybe go up the coast of oregon washington up that way and and uh, probably we'll probably do the southwest we'll probably do the greater western part of the country in the next couple of years right yeah the, it, the, the word is freedom isn't it oh it, yeah you've got a freedom now to go where you want to go when you want to go my parents airstream for 30 years and so they and we always had a trailer we had a trailer starting in 1952 oh so you grew up with it i grew up with a little oh. terry rambler no bath <laughs> no right. no nothing but right. you know it was yeah, but you had, had a bed and you could go out and we had beds and we actually my brother and i usually slept outside and my parents slept inside yeah but well that was we don't do that anymore <laughs> and she had her little ice box with a chunk of ice and and it was one step up from camping it was cleaner but but here you're you're at a place in the summertime you don't want to be and so it's like well oh, don't have to be now no, anymore no, no. so that freedom that you get to we do we were that. up in gray eagle and we were up in the shasta and so in Truckee this summer and we've been nice and cool. <laughs> well, we're all lucky to be in California, aren't we? Absolutely. I don't think there's a better place to RV than, right. than California. Oregon's beautiful, et cetera, but something about California. Absolutely. Well, and hopefully this weekend, the fall will finally arrive on the central coast and it'll warm up and be gorgeous like it should be. And um, I tell you what, after being in Vacaville for four months, it can stay as foggy <laughs> as it wants to be. Doesn't bother me in the least bit. Yeah. The, 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 you're enjoying the park, oh, Pillar Park. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, this we, is such a gorgeous area. And it's a friendly place too, right? Totally. It totally. seems like everybody's uh, been talking to us. That's one of the things that I like about yeah. it is that everybody's. No, if you're in a bad mood when you're here, then you're probably in a bad mood all the time. <laughs> You and think? you can walk to restaurants, and you can go into town and, and shop. It's it's really a great, beautiful little town. Great. Well, you guys are very nice to let me interrupt you and show me your uh, brand new trailer. And the thing I like about it is, we were in Indiana. We talked to manufacturers, and I think they're finally listening to say you got to continue to improve this, make make the vehicles lighter, make them more high tech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it is 2012. We don't have to do what we did in 1950, and uh, and your proof. Positive. It's a very pretty. Uh, we're not going to walk around the other side, but you have a little slide out on the other side. Yeah, slide out on the other side, and it, like I say, it, it's it's just a nice space for two people. If you had a bigger family or kids, you know, maybe this wouldn't be your first choice. But for two people that just right. want a trailer that you can, that's easy to handle, and we can go easy with. to ride on the, drive on the road. Yeah, easy pull. to handle on the road. You can pull it with a with a not a real big vehicle. I yeah. think this was a good choice for us. Well, we'll see you on the road. Okay. Uh, good traveling Definitely. to you guys. Thank you very kind. We've got our plans. Thank you.